Hello and welcome to Thirsty Thursdays with a Therapist. My name is Shalisha Gatling. I'm a couples therapist here in New York City, working with couples to help them unpack the baggage that gets in between their relationships. Today's topic is chemistry and compatibility. Now, last week we talked about having things in common, commonalities and compatibility, and we really uh, broke down the differences between those two terms, which sometimes can be used interchangeably. Another word that I hear being thrown in the mix of all of that is chemistry. And so I wanted to talk about that and continue this conversation around compatibility and what that all means. Chemistry essentially is something that we feel. It, it thrives from us being opposites. And so while much later in a relationship, we tend to maybe pick apart and, and pick fights over differences in personality traits or ways of doing things, that tends to be the very thing that draws us to one another at the very beginning. I mean, it's, it's much, much more common and more likely that someone who is a bit more um, type A and a little bit more of a planner and a little bit more structured, that they are going to be highly attracted to and have high amounts of chemistry with someone who's a little bit more laid back, a little bit more low key, a little bit more spontaneous and go with the flow. That is much more common and the thing that draws us together um, tends to be that those complementary attributes. And so, how does compatibility play into this? Now, compatibility has nothing to do with chemistry. That's the point that I really want you to walk away with. We talked about compatibility last week. It seriously is, is all about your value systems being in line. You both have the same things that you believe in, that you live for, that you value, and those are very much aligned. That is what contributes to long-term uh, fulfilling relationship. Chemistry, that can be a component, I'm not saying that it can't be, but that alone does not equate to compatibility. And that's where some people can get into trouble, where they ignore or don't really um, don't really face the, the truth that their value systems are very much misaligned. And so um, with chemistry, it's really important to note that this, this doesn't necessarily have to be that you have things in common, that you, that you have similar interests or that you um, have similar values. It could be the way that someone laughs. It could be just that feeling that comes over you when you look at your phone and they text you or you're, you're looking at them across from dinner and you just have goosebumps all over you for no reason. Now, maybe that's more prominent at the beginning of the relationship in the honeymoon phase, right? But chemistry is very, very different from, um, from compatibility and they don't necessarily always coexist, though they can. Now, this brings me to my fourth C. When I think about chemistry, I think about a high. It's literally, it's, it's a high that you get. And it's, it's being around someone that brings out a part of you that you really like and that excites you, that maybe you don't quite tap into as often as you'd like. And you feel giddy and all silly and crazy, right? That is chemistry. But what about if what's bringing out the high in you is not necessarily that person or their traits, but it's, it's an element of... Um, of, of, of helping them or of um, seeing how you two could be XYZ or how they could be this and how they're working towards something and you could be of help to them. There's a certain sort of high that comes with that and I think that if you find yourself in relationships where that's something that you're attracted to, that element, it usually can lead to what's called codependency. So that's my fourth C. We've talked about commonalities, we've talked about compatibility, we've talked about chemistry. Now I'm shifting into codependency because it can be a very, very common dynamic within relationships that can operate on very different levels where it's maybe a bit more subtle to where it's really over encompassing and, and literally impacting your day to day functioning. And so I want to talk about that in next week's Thirsty Thursdays. We're going to talk about codependency and how we might mask that as compatibility or chemistry or other um, commonalities that uh, that we might have in place within the relationship. And I want to talk about the pros um, of really recognizing that within yourself and what you can do about it if you find yourself in relationships or in a relationship right now that might have some of those unhealthy um, dynamics that play out within codependency. So tune in next week for that. We're going to talk about that and I will see you guys then. Thanks.